Hello fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna make my favorite sniper rifle Barrett 50 cal. If you enjoy my projects, consider subscribing and clicking the bell to get notified once I upload a new video. So Barrett is one of my uh, favorite sniper rifles and I was always very pleased whenever I could get my hands on it in any of video games. The first encounter I had uh, in the video game it was in Call of Duty 4, if I remember it correctly. Uh, it is the mission, recall mission, as you play the Captain Price, where you have to kill Zakaev, of course you miss him. But in that game uh, the gun itself is not equipped by you, it is just fixed on the ground and you just have to aim it. So you cannot carry it around or play with it in other uh, missions. And it, it was very disappointing for me uh, as I loved the gun. But the gun itself is really big, really heavy and uh, kind of hard to use like other guns are. And frequently right now you can see them, um, pirate guns, more often in the modern um, shooter games. And here you can see I am making the I am making the barrel of it. Uh, I try to make it the same width as it is with the M2 machine gun, which is the same caliber, which is 50. And uh, it is quite important to make it um, thick uh, to match the proportions, of course, with my other models. And uh, here, this one is of course going to be the barrel but at the same time I'm going to use it uh, as a base for the whole body of the rifle as it has kind of a linear shape uh, not that much of bumps and corners and it is quite easy to make in that sense try to make this uh, barrel as smooth as possible of course and then uh, I just started to making some additional detailing on the uh, top part, which is the muzzle brake, of course. Also, I have sticked the toothpick at the end. But uh, right now I wanted to show you this kind of strange detailing, strange construction I have made from toothpicks again. Uh, I try to use this kind of method to make lines, outlines on the first half of the barrel, which is actually happening in the real model in the real gun and uh, I prefer this method uh, instead of using some tools for making these lines because at this scale it is very very easy to damage the uh, surface and bend it so use this kind of methods as it is symmetrical it is quite easy to make the desired look uh, here you can see I have made this uh, distinctive pattern this is quite similar to the m2 machine gun yet again and i have used my favorite clay tool for it for doing it but right now instead of this wider uh, top wider blade i have used this narrow one which is more spiky and it makes uh, much uh, smaller holes about the half of the width which was perfect for me and for barrett of course and right now you just need to uh, wrap it around the barrel here is the end product so to say it's uh, of course it still needs to roll you you need to roll it over the table to make it as round as possible uh, and then you will have to use the tool again to make the holes more distinctive and fix every distortions here you can see that i have added the additional uh, length of the body of the rifle and also mark the place where the uh, handle is going to be. Um, in this um, moment right now, it really looks like the real actual gun. Uh, I mean, you already know what you are going to finish up with, and it is quite long. It is the uh, it is the longest of my models right now, which I have four of them, and you can see the comparison with J9. Even now, it is quite longer than that. And here is the almost finished uh, version of the major detailing i mean as you can see i have made the handle parts trigger also the magazine uh, which is huge for the rifle uh, of course those those are 50 caliber rounds uh, here is the end of uh, end of the gun at the same time i have made some distinctive holes that is as it is on the um, actual model 
and just try to smooth up everything. Of course, I'm going to get to it in the later bit and right now I, we will need to just adjust and add several details, which is the scope, of course, and the rails on the top and the stand. And here you can see the finished version of everything, them together. Here is the stand with the holes yet again. I made them with a toothpick. It was quite easy and it really looks like the actual um, actual stand for the Barrett gun. Uh, also the scope is larger than I have used for the J9. As you know, Barretts are used to um, shooting targets uh, longer, which are longer than a mile away. So to be accurate in that distance you really need a good scope. And here you can see the comparison with the J9. Uh, yeah, I, I love both models, but of course Barrett has the special place in my heart, so to say. And yet again, I'm very happy to see it in any of the video games and hope you like the Barrett as well. And hope you like this model as well. It is quite uh, good looking and also right now it's becoming iconic. And it will be quite uh, good addition for any model, any diorama. And for me, of course, Barrett itself is the model. And yeah, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope you are a fan of Barrett as well. And right now, as you can, try and make your own model. You will be even more in love with this gun. And yeah, see you next time and have a nice day. Goodbye.